In this video, we're going to take a look at Fermat's little theorem and some of its applications. Fermat's little theorem states that P is a prime number K is an element of the integers and P does not divide K, then K to the power of P minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod P. Let's look at one way in which we might apply Fermat's little theorem to solve a problem. Suppose you were asked to find the remainder when 30 to the power of 2020 is divided by 19. Now we know that 30 is congruent to 11 mod 19, and we can also say that 30 to the 2020 is congruent to 11 to the 2020 mod 19. Then, by Fermat's little theorem, we are able to say that 11 to the 18 is congruent to 1 mod 19. Our next step is to use our result from Fermat's little theorem to rewrite our original congruence where we said that 30 to the 2020 was congruent to 11 to the 2020 mod 19. And what we'll do is we'll break up 2020 or rather 11 to the 2020, so that the exponents represent a product that includes 18. For example, we can say 11 to, to the 18 times 112 plus the remainder of 4 mod 19 which means 11 to the 18 times 112 times 11 to the power of 4, since multiplying like basis allows us to add the exponents, and 4 needs to be added to the product of 18 times 112, and then mod 19. Then we can simplify this to 1 to the 112 times 11 to the 4 mod 19, 11 to the 18 is crossed out since we know that 11 to the 18th power is congruent to 1 mod 19. Now we have 11 to the 4th power, mod 19, a 
11 to the 4th is equal to 14,641. And this is congruent to 11 mod 19. Therefore, the remainder 30 to the power of 2020 is divided by 19 happens to be 11. So this concludes our example of a description of Fermat's little theorem and an example of an application. I hope you found it helpful and we'll see you next time.